You teething? You teething? Seemingly out of nowhere, it is a gorgeous day outside. When I say gorgeous, I don't mean like sunny, high of 75, heading to the beach day. I mean gorgeous for Michigan in the middle of February day. It is 57 degrees outside. 60 degrees, it's gorgeous. I've got the window open right now. That's how nice it is outside. The crazy thing is, is Michigan kind of does this and most Midwestern states do where you just kind of bury your head in the snow and say, this is our life and this is how it's gonna be. And never shall we ever have summer again. And we'll never see the sun and we'll never know what it's like because that's the only way you can mentally get through dealing with winter. Michigan does this thing, man, where they'll it'll freeze you to death and then it'll drop a 60 degree day on you and say, hey, remember what these are like? And then you start dreaming of happy days in the sun. Normally, I resist. Normally, Michigan drops a warm day on me. I go, <laughs> I know what's coming. I know that you're gonna get really nasty again here soon. But today it got me. And it got me thinking about warm days, particularly spent by the pool. My favorite thing to do in the summertime when the weather gets nice is to basically go chill at the beach, chill at the pool, anywhere where there's water. One of the things, when this dude first showed up, we kind of didn't go do that too often, but there was something we saw online it's one of those products that uh, just kind of goes viral you see it and you're like oh that's really cool but I mean are we gonna use it do we need it but this was one that I was we've got to get this we, we just have to I don't care what we got to do let's get this because it's gonna be super cool and it matches really well with kind of like what we like to do so one day a package shows up and inside is the Otteru so this thing is pretty sweet, and I don't know if you've seen the videos online about kids sitting in their tub or in the pool floating around just by their head, and it looks kind of, kind of sketchy, but it, <laughs> it's awesome. Obviously, with it being rainy in February in Michigan, we're not taking this out, but I do have some footage from when we did take him out. So as you can see, he's having a blast. He loves it. It's actually a really well-designed product. A little bit about this. Basically, there's like there's like fail-safes built into this thing. The first one is this blue, this blue space here. If you see that underneath here, this is a separate air chamber. So where that is up to there, that's like a backup. And then this is the main air chamber. If this goes out, this is still here or vice versa. It's not going to come undone at all. It's a very solid um, clip based system right here that keeps it around baby's neck. And these things I thought were going to be really uncomfortable. They're not. I mean, he's, he had no complaints whatsoever. It allows water to kind of seep through right here it does not let water get into the ears it does not let water get into the mouth that's what the uh the chin strap is for don't know if you can see that or chin rest is the official technical term and it's got little jingly bells too to keep them entertained so you basically just put it around the baby's neck right here like this you're gonna be my guinea pig okay ah, da, ah, ah. put it around baby's neck tighten that Tighten that, make sure that the chin rest is good, and then you just let him go float. Pretty cool, right? But I don't know if you can see, it's very soft on him there. It does not press in, it is not uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's safe. He's not gonna fall through here. Minimum weight's nine pounds, maximum weight is 35 pounds. So it's been a couple days, and I was kind of thinking over a few things, and one of the things I realized was, although it says you can stick a nine pound baby inside that thing, some babies can be born at nine pounds, so you probably shouldn't do that. You should wait about eight weeks before you stick the baby in there. You know, just wanted to mention that. You can get this online at www.otteroo.com. Go there, check it out. It's $29.99. Of the baby products you're gonna buy, this is probably one of the cheapest things. Overall, the design is great. I don't really have any complaints about this thing. He really enjoyed it. He had a good time. He was floating out there, kicking around. The purpose of this is to enjoy the water with your kid, not set them loose and let them float around unsupervised. I think with this, and really any other baby product out there, you need to use it for what it was intended to be used for. It's not a life-saving device. It's not a swimming training device. I'm not saying you need to buy it. I'm simply saying it's something we really enjoyed. There is no perfect product out there. Research it, try it, find what works for you.